Tessa, do you remember these scenes? Chemnitz, the town in Germany. Fair to say, I think a lot of people across Europe perhaps weren't that aware of until these demonstrations took place. Angry protesters, angry at government immigration policy. But in amongst these crowds, where it is fair to say, of course, there were ordinary people too with genuine grievances, there were elements of the far right and the extreme right, neo Nazis. We saw in the cube, we proved that there were members there holding up fake information and doing the Nazi salute as well. This shocked Germany and really kicked off this discussion about how to tackle the rise of extremism in the country. Well, one group thought they had an idea. This website, which has now been taken down, was presented. What it allows you to do is to name and shame people you might recognize. In fact, the website offered a cash reward for naming and shaming your colleagues, acquaintances, or anyone you might recognize in photos uploaded on the website. Now, this is all something called doxing. It is where you uh, use the internet to obtain somebody's identity and then publicly broadcast it. In this context, you can see just how political that was. The idea is to unmask these neo-Nazis. But that wasn't really what was going on here at all. There was a twist. Let me show you. The group later revealed that actually it was a honeypot. Now, by that, we mean there was a feature on the site, a search feature, where by inputting your name, your details were taken. What they, they in fact were trying to do, Tessa, was not encourage people to name and shame the neo-Nazis on the far right. They wanted the far right to come online and unmask themselves by searching to see if they were on the site, by entering their name, their details were seized and grabbed. That is called a honeypot. You can see it's the honey, they trapped them. Now that is very controversial. It's really kicked off a discussion in Germany about what this means for individuals' data privacy, and their rights. But I spoke in an interview to Philip from the group. Uh, we call themselves the Beautiful Artists. Interestingly, that site was eventually taken down. And he said, we operate in an area of moral ambiguity, he says. But this data collection, he said, well, this was certainly right to do because the German state is not doing it. Their argument being, people need to do more to unmask and tackle the problem of the far right. But then there are others on social media, just finishing on what uh, Paul Joseph's saying here. It's all, he said it's almost Stasi style what they were trying to do. So Tessa, the website has been taken down, but all uh, the idea here was to try and unmask and tackle far right extremism in uh, Germany. Now you can see just how complicated even efforts to deal with it can get. All right, thank you for that, Alex and the Cube team. And joining me in the studio to talk about this news.